Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, I am going to teach you the numerical problem of the bone haber cycle. In my previous video, I have already explained everything about the bone haber cycle. But for examination, the numerical of bone haber cycle is also important. So in this video, I will solve three different numerical problems for three different types of compound that is MX type of compound, MX2 type of compound and MX3 type of compound to show you how we can calculate the value of lattice energy by using the bone haber cycle so let's start so i have already written the question of the first numerical problem over here the question is calculate the lattice energy of KCl that is MX type of compound applying the bone haber cycle using the following enthalpy data. These are the given data. Look at here, a del HS that is the sublimation energy for potassium solid is given to be this much. Ionization energy for um, potassium gas is given to be this much. Uh, dissociation energy for chlorine gas is this much. Uh, electron affinity for chlorine gas is this much. Here it is diatomic form, it is in monatomic form over here and similarly the enthalpy of formation of potassium chloride is this much. But before starting the numerical problem, we must know the chemical reaction to form for the formation of potassium chloride. So the balanced, the balanced chemical equation, the balanced chemical equation for the formation for the formation of potassium chloride in solid state is so potassium in solid state will react with chlorine in gaseous state to form potassium chloride kcl in solid state right but to balance it we have to put half over here because we, we need only one mole of the ionic compound now some energy will be released over here that energy is minus del hf this minus shows the uh, sign whether it gets consumed or it releases so minus means it releases the energy okay now look at here this is the uh, principal reaction this is the main reaction but according to bone haber cycle this reaction will not happen directly but uh, there will be a set of other reaction as well that is said by his law as well so this solid will uh, convert into gaseous form then it will also convert into gaseous ionic form here the chlorine in diatomic form will convert into monatomic form then that will also convert into the ionic form finally they will react releasing some energy called lattice energy to form this potassium chloride right that is a very long step so i'll write it in short look at here if you haven't watched my bone haber cycle video then it will be a revision for you as well not revision it will be a new learning for you as well so first of all it will convert into potassium gas by gaining some energy that is called del H as sublimation energy similarly this potassium gas will convert into potassium solid uh, sorry potassium gas but in ionic form by gaining some energy that is called ionization energy but here it will get some dissociation energy to convert into monoatomic form but there is half written over so we will write half over here similarly this is still in gaseous state now it will release some energy that is called electron affinity to convert into Cl minus gaseous state. Now these two will react and form the potassium chloride by releasing some energy minus U. So this is the bone haber cycle for the formation of potassium chloride. Now let's do the calculation part over here. So uh, according to his law, this value will be equal to the algebraic sum of all the energy term over here. So we will write del HF. We are not writing the conventional sign over here. We are just writing everything in, in addition form. Okay. So del H half is equal to let's add them. That is del H S plus I plus half of del H D minus sorry plus E A plus U. This is the uh, bone haber cycle reaction, uh, bone haber cycle formula for the formation of potassium chloride solution or simply you can say mx type of compound now let's put the given values over here del hf is given to be how much minus 438 this is given to be this much is equal to del hs del hs is given to be how much 86 plus i is given to be how much 
425 plus half into del HD del HD is given to be 244 EA is given to be minus 355 minus 355 plus U U is the lattice energy now to get the value of lattice energy we need to take all the values to this side except for U so it will be U is equal to minus 438 minus 86 uh, minus 425 minus half into 244 plus 355 now if you put this value in calculator then you will directly get minus 716 kilojoule per mole and always remember the sign of this lattice energy will be negative that is it releases the energy there will be the release of energy if you get the sign to be positive then perhaps you have made some mistake correct the solution so this is the uh, this is the lattice energy value for this reaction so this is the numerical problem for mx type of compound now let's see the numerical problem for mx2 type of compound let me erase this uh, whole whiteboard and finally i'll write the question over here second numerical problem is about the formation of mx2 type of compound uh, the question is calculate the lattice energy of magnesium fluoride that is M, uh, mx2 type of compound from its elements using the bone haber cycle and the given base charge is represented like this i've just copied from the book it is in this form so for magnesium del h has sublimation energy energy is this much ionization energy one plus ionization energy two is equal to this much you might be thinking that why there are two ionization energy i'll explain why okay del hd dissociation energy is this much uh, electron affinity for fluorine is this much and uh, enthalpy of formation of magnesium fluoride is this much so first of all we need to write the chemical equation the balanced chemical equation for the overall reaction right the balanced the balanced chemical equation is so let's write the balanced chemical equation over here the balanced chemical equation is magnesium in solid state reacts with fluorine in gaseous state to form mgf2 it is already balanced so we are not going to do anything we are not going to put any extra number over here now according to bone haber cycle we need to convert both of them into the gaseous ionic state right so it will gain some energy that is del h as sublimation energy to form in uh, to be converted into the gaseous state now it will gain some energy that is i1 and it will convert into magnesium plus ion but tell me what is the valency of magnesium 2 that means it needs to, to lose one more electron so it will gain more energy that is more uh, ionization energy that is I, I2 and it will convert into mg 2 plus in gaseous state now for fluorine look at here we need to provide some uh, dissociation energy del h del h d to convert it into 2f uh, 2f gas that is to convert it into the monoatomic form it was in diatomic form now it is in monoatomic form right now we need to provide some uh, sorry we need to it will release some energy that is e right but there are 2f so two electron affinity amount of energy will be released from there to convert two fluorine elements into the ionic form that is anionic form this is in gas state as well now these two will react and finally some energy will be lost to form this mgf2 so this is the bone haber cycle for the formation of magnesium chloride now let's put the values over here sorry now let's make the bone haber cycle so we know very well that bone haber cycle is just the del h f in bone haber cycle we just find the algebraic sum of all the energy terms and we get we equate it with the enthalpy of formation so it will be uh, del h f again we are not writing the sign of it we will write everything in uh, positive plus form so del h f will be equal to del h s plus i1 plus i2 plus del h d minus 2 e 2 e minus u sorry plus plus so this is the this is the 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 yes so this is the bone haber cycle expression for the formation of this magnesium fluoride compound any compound now let's put the values over here uh, so values are given to be del h s is 
sorry first of all del h half del h half is given to be how much minus 1102.6 is equal to del h is given to be how much 146.4 plus i1 plus i2 in combined form is given that is the ionization energy of whole magnesium is given to be how much over here 2184.0 plus del h d is given to be how much 158.9 minus 2 into e means e is given to be how much uh 334.7 plus u so after putting the value we get this much now to get the value of u we need to take all these values to this side it will be minus 1102.6 minus 146.4 minus 2184.0 minus 158.9 plus 2 into 334.7 therefore u is equal to how much so i have written the answer in my hand over here minus 2922.5 kilojoule per mole so this is how we calculate the value of lattice energy for mx2 type of compound i hope you understood this numerical problem very properly now let's see the third numerical problem but for that let me erase this all solution so this is the third numerical problem of mx3 type of compound the question is calculate the lattice energy of aluminium fluoride that is mx3 type of compound from the following data but here the reactions are given now we need to identify which data is given and finally we will calculate the value of lattice energy so in solution let's see uh, which reactions are given aluminium in solid state is converting into aluminium in gaseous state aluminium gas is converting to al3 plus that is in ionic state this is also in gas uh, aluminium plus fluorine is forming aluminium fluoride uh, fluorine in gas is forming fluorine in gas but uh, here it is in diatomic form here it is in monoatomic form similarly here fluorine is gaining the electron and finally forming the anionic form of fluorine now we need to write the balanced chemical equation which one of them is balanced chemical equation yes you are correct this one is the balanced chemical equation so it's 2al plus 3f2 minus 2alf3 now look at here there are there is two written over here and the value of del h f enthalpy of formation of aluminum fluoride, fluoride is given to be this much so what do you think is it for the uh, two aluminum fluoride molecule no it is for the one aluminum fluoride molecule the reason is it is for per molecule right del h f per molecule for one molecule this is the value so but now look at here we have to make little bit rearrangements in this chemical reaction we know that uh, to calculate the bond haber cycle only one mole of the product should be formed but there are two moles so to balance it we are, we are going to divide both sides by two then what will we get this two two will be cancelled out so it will be al in solid state plus fluorine that is three by two will finally convert to Al F3, right? Now aluminium is converting to Al uh, gaseous state by absorbing what? Del H S. So Al solid to gas is given to be this much. That is for the value of sublimation energy. Similarly, uh, it is gaining I1 plus I2 plus I3 amount of ionization energy to form Al3 plus ion. That is in gaseous state so this value over here this is for the ionization energy combined ionization energy okay and for this look at here okay so fluorine is being formed uh, converting converted to f uh, in gaseous state this is also in gaseous state over here this is in solid state here over here but there are three by two return over here so three by two sorry f uh, three f 3 by 2 del H D. So dissociation energy is being used over here. So fluorine F2 is converting to F that is in this step the value is how much 160 uh, that is del H D is equal to 160. Now similarly it is losing some energy that is 3 fluorine elements are over there atoms are over there. So minus 3 E will be the minus 3 times the electron affinity will be energy will be lost and finally it will form 
क्लोरिन एफ गैस माइनस एंड देर विल बी थ्री सो फाइनली द प्रोडक्ट विल बी फॉर्म दैट इज माइनस यू इज द अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी दैट इज लॉस्ट ड्यूरिंग द रिएक्शन आई एम सॉरी आई डिड नॉट टेल प्रोपरली बट या दिस इज द करेक्ट रिएक्शन नाउ लेट्स फॉर्म द बोन हैबर साइकिल फॉर्मूला फ्रॉम हियर सो माई डेल एच एफ इज इक्वल टू डेल एच एस प्लस आई वन प्लस आई टू प्लस आई थ्री हियर प्लस डेल एच डी बट हियर इट विल बी थ्री बाई टू माइनस थ्री ई एंड फाइनली प्लस यू सॉरी हियर इट इट विल बी प्लस राइट नाउ वी आर राइटिंग ऑल द साइंस टू बी पॉजिटिव नाउ लेट्स पुट द वैल्यूज ओवर हियर डेल एच एफ दिस फॉर्म माइनस टू सिक्स टू जीरो इज इक्वल टू डेल एच एस इज गिवन टू बी हाउ मच दिस इज डेल एच एस थ्री टू सिक्स प्लस आई वन प्लस आई टू प्लस आई थ्री इज गिवन टू बी फाइव वन थ्री एट प्लस थ्री बाई टू इन टू डेल एस डी इज ओवर हियर वन सिक्सटी माइनस थ्री इन टू हाउ मच थ्री फिफ्टी प्लस यू and finally if you calculate the value of u by taking all this value to this side the answer will be minus 7244 7244 kilojoule or mole so this is the amount of lattice energy for this reaction for the formation of aluminum fluoride reaction so i hope you understood all the three numerical problem these are very important numerical problems so in this video i have explained the uh, so uh, how to explain the numerical problem for mx type of compound mx2 type of compound and mx3 type of compound so these are the types of numerical problem that is frequently asked in examination and i hope you saw the pattern of the question and how the question is asked the data is the data are also given in different way so be careful in the examination and you will be able to do all the numerical problems from this chapter as well so that's all in this video if you like the video please share this video as much as you can and thank you for watching the video